Hey, good morning, everyone. Glenn Calloway from the basement. Start of another week. Some vinyl finds, a cool CD, and a uh, reissue that is absolutely fantastic that uh, my lovely wife bought for me on Saturday. Uh, I'm spoiled. So uh, yesterday I went to visit my family in Oshawa, Ontario, and I always go to a store called Deja Vu Discs while I'm there. I think I've told you guys about this store before. It's basically a store where they sell UCDs and video games and movies. But some dude comes in there with records, used records, and every week he kind of restocks them. I would say there's probably 800 records there in no order. They're just sitting on a, in a bin and you just gotta go through, you find some gems, sometimes you don't find anything, sometimes you just find a bunch of scratched classics that you wish weren't scratched. It's all, it's a, just a big mess. But I always seem to come out with something. First of all, for new CDs there, I did find one that I have been looking for on CD for a long time, and I was really happy to find it. It's George Harrison's concert for Bangladesh. I have it on vinyl. It's, uh, I think, a great live album. Um, I love Dylan's guest appearance on it. I think it's fantastic. His version of just like a woman with George and Leon Russell singing along with him, I think is just brilliant. And um, yeah, I mean, Badfinger backing up George, Eric Clapton, Ringo Starr, Leon Russell, Billy Preston, uh, Klaus Foreman. It just goes on and on and great songs. I mean, uh, Ravi Shankar, um, My Sweet Lord, Waiting on You All. Um, it don't come easy. Ringo does. Uh, Billy Preston does. Uh, That's the way God planned it. Uh, Beware of darkness. While my guitar gently weeps. Uh, Leon Russell comes out and does Jumpin' Jack Flash and Young Blood. And then here comes the sun. And then Bob Dylan comes out and does Hard Rain's Gonna Fall. It takes a lot to laugh. Takes a train to cry. Blown in the wind. Mr. Tambourine Man. Just like a woman. Then we get something. Song Bangladesh that George wrote specifically for the event. And um, fantastic. I've never seen this uh, little box set before. Uh, come on. There's even a card that looks like for me to uh, something to do with UNICEF. Uh, uh, just a little promo. And um, here's the CDs and the booklet. It's a nice little set. Just two. And then so very cool. I mean this was the father of uh the um events that raise money and awareness for, you know, like hunger issues and stuff, like live aid and all that. This is the this is the father of all those events. Uh, excellent stuff. Very excited to get that. Next, I picked up two used records. Now, the other day, I showed this record. Oh, wrong one. I showed this record. The Straubs, live at the Elizabeth Hall. And I mentioned I'd only had time to listen to side one and... As much as I didn't dislike it, I just wasn't that impressed. Like, it just wasn't, you know, I don't know. It was, just, it was okay. And um, one of the commenters, who's a Straubs fan, said, you got to take a chance to listen to Side 2. I listened to Side 2. It's freaking fantastic. I loved it. Side 2 is amazing. i got to go back and listen to Side 1 now. Um, it's that, that, that turned out to be a pretty good buy. Um, so yesterday, one of the records I found in that pile was the Straubs. No Madness. I know nothing about this record. If uh, anybody does, they can tell me. It's I think it came out in 1974, so it's not one of their first albums, but uh, I'm uh, interested in playing that. I have two Elvis Costello albums that I rate higher than most of the others. Uh, well, there's a bunch of good ones, but um, um, Armed Forces and 
this one, which most people don't really care for, but I love, is Spike. This came out in 1989. It's funny, when people say, let's rank the, your favorite 80s albums, I never think of bringing this album up, but it's one of my favorite albums from that era. And uh, this is when um, Elvis was working with Paul McCartney. Um, this Town is on here, which was penned with them. I think Veronica was also a song that Paul worked on. But there's some great songs on here. Let Him Dangle was a uh, song about um, a famous murder case in uh, in England. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really good album, I think. So, And I did not have it on vinyl. I only had it on CD. And I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> we'll let you look at Elvis instead of me. Elvis, say good Kazuntaik or something. Okay. So that's uh, the stuff I picked up. Used two albums and a uh, CD. Now my wife, I just gave it away a bit a minute ago. She said to me on Friday, she goes, you know, I just want to make you happy and put a smile on your face. And she goes and Amazon orders the record for me out of my cart. So Tony Rice, Church Street Blues. This is a reissue, craft recording. Man, it sounds good. Really good. I, I, I always say acoustic music sounds best on a stereo system. But this is just Tony Rice, guitar and vocals, and his brother Wyatt playing um, rhythm guitar. And there's just some classic stuff on here. It's a great record. Um, Tony's got such a great voice and such an incredible guitar player. It's uh, fantastic. Um, one of the highlights for me is a uh, Tom Paxton song, uh, The Last Thing on My Mind, one of my favorite kind of folky songs uh, ever written. Um, I got a chance to uh, hang out with Tom when I worked for Mariposa back in the 90s and we were chatting away and started talking about, I think, I don't know how it came up about where he lives and, I, and if I was asking him uh, whatever. And uh, he told me a story that uh, back when he made a few bucks, uh, probably in the late 60s, he bought a house, a modest home in the Hamptons. Now, when you think modest home in the Hamptons, that's an oxymoron now. But back in the day, when that wasn't a trendy place, he buys a place there. And uh, he was making a joke that saying, now, Billy Joel, this is going back in the 90s, so I don't know if it's still true. But he said, I got this, you know, kind of just little modest house, and next door to me is Billy Joel's uh, $100 million mansion. And he said he's just surrounded by these million, uh, tens of millions, hundreds of million dollar mansions, and he's just in his little little house there. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, anyway, this is a great album. Glad to have it. Sugar Hill Label, Craft Recordings, they are putting out some good stuff. Um, I got nothing else. Have you got a thumb? Can you just look down? Look down and you'll see a thumbs up and a thumbs down. There are two symbols there. And you just press one. I don't give a what one you press. Just press one. You get 500 views and you get 50 thumbs. Like, what, 450 of you won't press the button. What is wrong? It. What is, what, don't you understand? Like, what? Do we need to have a lesson on how to use your thumbs? Have you ever hitchhiked? What do you do? You don't go like this. You don't go out in the road to stand there. So when you're watching these videos, you don't go like this, and you don't just stand there and sit there. You, you, can, you can even press the button while you're watching the video. It's like you can multitask. It's really good. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you so much. Love you all. Thank you all for your comments. And uh, take care.